What's going on guys, it's Eric here from Dose of VT bringing you guys another video. This time, I got the Apple Pencil finally. Came in, I, I couldn't get it on the day it was released for whatever reason, Best Buy would only allow it to be shipped to my house, so I don't understand that. But anyways, it's finally here. Time to crack this puppy open. So now, um, Apple is doing the easy pull tabs on all their products now, which is absolutely super, super nice. I actually really like it. That they have the, the pull tabs on getting that stuff off. Makes it a little bit easier. Not by much. Let's see how this puppy opens. I don't even know how. Alright, so they had the little pull tab like they did last time on the Series 1. So we open this puppy up. You get your design stuff and a bunch of paperwork designed by Apple in California. Then all your paperwork here. Obviously, you guys didn't come here to see this paperwork. You want to see the actual Apple Pencil. So, here it is. The new Apple Pencil. It is redesigned. If I can show you guys here with the camera. Let me pull off the little thingy real quick. It definitely feels like a real pencil. Like, the other one was completely rounded and just felt weird. And this one 100% feels like an actual pencil. Like, that is weird. Um, do you get anything extra in the box? Oh, that's kind of bull crap. They don't give you extra tips or anything. That's stupid. Apple being Apple. But anyways, get all that junk out of the way. So here is the Apple Pencil right here where it says Apple Pencil. It is completely flat. That is the magnetic side that will stick to the iPad. So it can charge. Then the rest of it is rounded besides, obviously, the one side. But it feels definitely a lot better in the hand. It actually feels like a pencil this time. It doesn't feel too big, too small. Like this is actually like perfect size. Like if I was to have a pencil, this would probably be a good pencil. This is kind of like a, like a drawing, like an actual drawing pencil. Like the other one was just like a mammoth of a, a, basically a pen. But this one actually feels like a drawing pencil. Like you know how like in um, our class you'd have like those shading pencils where you had different shades, like you go up or you can go down in shading. That's what this thing feels like to me for whatever reason. But so far, I like it. So basically, um, I will unlock my iPad here. So let's see if I can get this in frame. Um, basically, you just put the Apple Pencil in like so. Let's see here. Which way does my thingy have it? So basically you just pop this sucker in there. See if it connects. See the the problem with the thingy majigger, because the little things right there, I don't know. This clip in this case might be a, a default thing. Where it's not close enough. Aw oh man, that's really gonna make me mad if that's the case. Because that's pretty shitty. If that's the case. No, Siri, shut up. Shut up. Alright, well, obviously, this case might be a flaw, and I'm going to be really, really mad. But it connects on. As you can see, it's recognizing the Apple Pencil. Would you like to connect? Absolutely, we would like to connect. And then you got uh, Continue and Explore by tapping. It shows you all that great stuff. Now it says Connected. It still gives you the battery percentage right there should say 60%. That's what it says on my screen, so hopefully it's the same thing on yours. So, take it off. Um, let's see here. Um, I do have an app to where I can do some drawing stuff. Let's see here. Should pop up any minute. There we go. Um, I'm already in a note. What the hell is all this? Junk. Okay, there we go. Um, and I'm, oh, shh. get rid of that. Get rid of that. Don't care. Don't care. Done. Um, let's see here. Um, let's create a new one. So basically, I like to take notes for class and stuff like that. Let me get this more in the middle of the frame. Um, I use this for college because I'm I'm in college at Miami University in um, Ohio, so I do use this 
for school for taking notes. It's better than paper, I think. Granted, it isn't like flipping the papers and remembering where it's at. You have to go into the app and stuff like that. Like this app cost me like five bucks, I think, to buy. Maybe four bucks, three bucks, something like that. I mean, nothing too expensive, but it works really nice. I really like it. Like it really works. Like this, this feels a lot better. Like on the other one, it didn't feel as quick, but this one is snappy. Right as that thing touches that, like there is no delay whatsoever like it feels like I'm actually writing on paper this time around like I don't know like it just feels nice like I definitely I definitely like this Apple Pencil a lot more than the first one the first one basically sucked and this one you don't have any cap or anything right here that can that comes off but which is also nice but I think my case is like a default thing so I might have to go in and do some um, some cutting here to cut some things away because this thing is totally not connecting to that so it should go in like that and it should connect let's see here yeah there's space that's stupid I don't know if you guys can see here but I know the camera angle is kind of bad. Let's see if I can put it at an angle. But you guys can see that gap there. That means the Apple Pencil is just sitting right there. So every time I want to use the Apple Pencil, if for whatever reason it loses battery, I'm literally going to have to put push the case out of the way. Like undo this every freaking time, which is going to suck, and do that so it can charge up. That is absolutely stupid. Obviously, I bought the case too early. I mean, ah, nuts, dropped the thing. But um, like yeah, that's pretty, pretty stupid. So when you're when you're looking for cases, make sure you read the comments because honestly, that's pretty bad. I mean, granted, I got this little pencil holder thing. I mean, that's kind of cool. Like if I'm not using it, it just sits up there. But I mean, there's nothing special about it. I mean, that's the Apple pencil. Definitely a lot better if you buy the new generation one. Obviously, you have to buy this pencil because the other one, the previous one, um, version one, generation one, will not work on the new ones. It's just to let you guys know, like, you have to buy the new one, but buying the new one's way better, anyways. And I believe it's not vice versa. Like, you couldn't use this one on the first one, I don't think. Maybe you can. Um. If you guys really want to know that, leave it down in the comments and I'll do some research for you guys because I don't know off the top of my head right now. Um, if you can use this one on the net, on the previous generation, I would say yes, just because Apple wants you to buy buy the most expensive one because it's like 30 bucks more than the other one. But anyways, there you go, guys. If you have any questions about the new Apple Pencil, just let me know and um, I'll answer it to the best of my ability. Just like and subscribe. Peace, guys.